bunch of stuff out in the middle of nowhere. Where were all these Humvees earlier on? Man, when I was desperate to find one. Ah, of course, now there's a bunch of zombies coming out of the barn. Um... I haven't seen Highmore this evening, or at least he hasn't announced himself. I forget what his name is on Twitch. I don't think it's... I think it's under some other name, not, not Highmore. Ah, barn full of zombies. <laughs> I can't find a stretch that doesn't have bad guys in it. Uh, we'll try right here. <sighs> um, just wait for the sun to go down. Because I'm crouching, the light is actually spilling out. Because it's it's just that the light is also on the level I'm crouching down into. <clears throat> light alone doesn't attract zombies. They have to actually be able to see you, and with me crouching, they can't actually see me. So the stuff that's been appearing has been uh, goofy, <laughs> which is why I was kind of laughing at it. But each time I start to do that, I'm crouching first. So crouch, not crouch, crouch, not crouch. <laughs> it's weird. Just one of the interesting semi-broken things you can do with crouching. All right, sated, slaked, tired, 2 a.m.
Okay, one more sleep, and uh, we finished all the electronics books. But we maxed out another one. So electronics is maxed. Fab can go higher, and we may need to do it if I ever get recipes. It'll use it. Taylor ring, I don't really care. Uh, computers is done. First aid's done. Mechanics is done. So we've got max everything except for a scalpel for dissections, which I'm not doing much of. So that's not really an issue. But um, if we do any CBM installs, we'll actually be able to do it fairly successfully. Um, we just haven't had much luck with getting CBMs out of anything yet. Let's uh, go ahead and get the blindfold this time. <clears throat> Let our tiny bit of natural healing take care of that last little bar. Can't fix that because I never have aluminum ingots. <laughs> I just cannot remember to uh, to get aluminum ingots. Oh, my Kevlar vest took a hit. Steel Spear hasn't taken a single nick yet, I don't believe. Kevlar Vest? Hmm, I guess it is. Alright, so gear's all fixed up. Um... Twenty-six rounds left in the M2. Thirty-two more in a different belt. All right. So, yeah, my only option for this town would be to drive right through the middle of it. <clears throat> Which were the kind of enemies I've got in this place, and predators liking to hop into the vehicle could get really, really ugly if I get the wrong situation. It would definitely kill me. So, my choice is to do that. My map mapped area runs out right there. Or kind of roll my way up this direction. I think I'd rather roll up that direction for the moment. So we're going to go that way. I haven't found any military outposts, no bunkers, no mansions. Mansions are really, really rare now, it seems like. Um, <coughs> solar pan or solar um, storage batteries that I, I'm just not going to bother at this point. Oh yeah, five point harness. <laughs> I think I've got actually long rope. I should probably do that. Or I keep forgetting. You can get yanked out of a five point harness for anybody that's that's wondering. If you're curious. Yeah, I got lots of long ropes. <laughs> Remove. Oh, I oh there it is. Seatbelt. I was gonna say I don't have a seatbelt. And put in a five point arms. <laughs> I 
Um, have you like been watching for the last 15 minutes? I've eaten like four of them just in the last 10-15 minutes. I've been nomming on MREs pretty much exclusively for the last little bit. They don't last long is the big problem. <laughs> Alright, farm, uh, another barn, tools, probably some decent food. I should probably check the farmhouse. Didn't pass up the free and easy food. Oh, that's right, this one doesn't have the, uh, the standard barn. And it also doesn't have that much food. <laughs> Graham crackers, no meal. That's not too bad, I guess. Warriors, buddy. Um, not gonna check the other locations. They don't have anything I need. Yeah, you can find them in the regular farm barns. The ones that usually have zombies in them. I've had uh, Bessie the cow slaughter an entire group of zombies before inside the barn. Uh, it's just going to be farm, farm, farm. <laughs> Shall we uh, get the uh, the M2 lined up on the barn? <laughs> Just set it on fire and walk away. More oatmeal. More oatmeal. Toastums. <laughs> oh, like I said, <laughs> cow corpse. Oh, there's a freak, a uh, 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 good cow. Hey there, cow. Oh, uh, no, it's going to be a mad cow. <laughs> Something's in there nomming on the cows. Yeah, there's zombies. Poor cows. Zombies and cockroaches. <laughs> A bucket and an exacto knife. Guess I could get some cow meat while I'm here. Go see if I can get killed by a cow. Oh, never mind. Zombie did it for me. Eighty-four chunks of meat from a quick butcher, huh? Um. <laughs> um. How about um, we just take thirty of that? What do you want to bet that last little oh, body sight? <laughs> that last little uh, spot is going to be uh, another farm. Migo! Hey, Migo. Punk, I have a 50 cal round. Bunch of demon spiderlings and yep another farm <laughs> what a surprise 
Ugh, so much farm spam. Can they tone it down by just like 25%? Anything, please. <laughs> that is a lot of poop out there with them cows. Treehouse town of oh, a corrosive zombie. Chickens do lay eggs? I don't know. I don't do any of the farm stuff. I barely ever butcher animals anymore. I didn't even do any pine nut hunting this time. I haven't cooked a single pine nut. Not a one. Why don't I butcher animals? I don't need to. I never need the food. <clears throat> I just never get around to it because I never need to. <laughs> I've just got so much food from just running around and looting places and uh, looting nuts. It's all about the nuts. They're healthy for you. They're easy to transport. They last forever. It's all about the nuts. <clears throat> Hey, we found a bunker finally. Please, please, please be the new style bunker. I want a new style bunker. Uh, I gotta grab the pickaxe before we go there. Oh wait, do I have a military card? I got one military card. Alright. Ah, it's the old style bunker. Damn it. Finger pick CDM. Don't care. <laughs> Milk core and the M2 2010. Don't care, don't care. Don't need C4. I'm not breaking in for beans. Ah, look at that. We got, what is that, the sniper? Oh, that's the recon mech. That's right. I totally forgot I left that mech. <laughs> We were going to play around with that combat mech, and I just totally spaced it, <laughs> and we just ran off without it. Hey there, recon mech. <laughs> I wonder if all the mechs run on the same battery, and if you find enough of them, you can just yank the batteries out and keep the one you want. Good old autonomous crows, oxygen, yeah, I mean, not, nothing else I care about. I don't technically have a sniper rifle, but we've got the uh, the 308 that we're firing out of the foul, which is working fine. Let's at least uh, take the door down and take a look at it. Well, that's right. I don't have the ID card. I forgot. You got to have the uh, ID card. I used my only military ID card. 
All of the uh, soldiers and bio-operators and stuff we've killed, we haven't gotten any additional ID cards, and I've only found that one at the Hazardous Waste Facility. Oh well. Anybody try to load those onto a bike rack? <laughs> Can you load one of these onto the bike onto a bike rack? I thought there was a way of getting it into a vehicle. <laughs> Livestock carrier. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'll wait till they uh, get a little more development on those things before I fiddle with them much. And again, we're stuck with uh, just farms. Farm, farm, farm spam. <laughs> Limo. I'm not, not sure what my leather supply looks like, but uh, I don't really care at this point. I got a backup backpack just in case things do go horribly screwy. Oh, here's something I haven't checked in a while. No cabins in the area, huh? <laughs> I always love it when I'm, one of the first things I see when I come in into town is a feral predator. Feral Predator, Zombie Snapper, Zombie Hollow, Dug Pack, Acid Zombie. Yeah, now we're, we're having a good time now. If I ever get out of my car, which I almost have to do now, if I'm going to drive through Stowe anywhere. Hmm. Hmm, Feral Predator is the closest thing to me, huh? I want to say the Hollow is an offshoot of the Grabber Grappler styles, but there's also the Wrestler, which is the end point, so I don't know if it diverges. So I'm not 100%. Because they've got these flexible black vein body, sharp teeth, but... The biggest thing is they've got these big, long, ropey arms that can reach out a long way to grab you and they do damage to you while you're grabbed from range. They're really nasty when they get a hold of you and uh, you got other stuff nearby. But I'm not 100% on what the base for the, the hollow is. Somebody would have to look it up in the code if they don't know offhand. I don't know. I'm debating just trying to push through this place. I don't really have anywhere else to go. Um, we got a river over that way because of the bridges. Whole bunch of river networks over that way. I haven't found a uh, a new map to get the new road network undone. I could, I guess, roll around and see if there's an opening in the trees to connect over that way. I think I'll do that before we do anything else. Hey, Mr. Predator. How are you doing today, Mr. Predator? If I don't like the zigzaggy I'd have to do to get through this town. So, let's go ahead and, uh, especially now that we've made noise and attracted everything. Let's see if there is a way around this section here. I'm gonna guess the answer is no. <laughs> hey there, turkey pack. And... Open up a little more than I thought. Maybe it will connect over. <laughs> Good skid. Oh, beehive. Uh, which is gonna block, probably. Or not. Hey, we actually did make it around. Cool. Hello, Mr. Apis. You have fun in there. 
Another predator. All right, so go back up to the intersection. Jug. I haven't seen one of those recently. This weird road network up here. Oh, there's one of the big helicopters I look for. Unfortunately, I don't want one right in the middle of a town. And it doesn't look like it was... Hey, there's the stereo I need. <laughs> stereo! Uh, Osprey, Osprey, Osprey. You're in the wrong place. And I'm not seeing any bio-operators. I need an Osprey out in the field with about eight bio-operators in it. Trailer park. That's not what I wanted right there. Gee, another farm. Who's... Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Trocker Brute, just north of me. And I can get up on the silo to get a good view of the area. So, stop. Trocker Brute, see me? 44... Maybe we should deal with him first. Shocker Brute loose. So I still don't have a uh, scalpel or a better uh, dissecting tool. But let's we'll see if we can get anything out of this guy. Assuming I, I'm allowed the 45 minutes to dissect him uninterrupted. I don't know if you can save progress. Hey, we finished. We got nothing. Two faulty bionics and a faulty power store. Oh, we got the power storage. I really hate putting in the base power storage. I'm not really in the mood to install an autoclave in here either. Yeah, sproglodytes are little jumpy child upgrades. I think I dropped my binoculars. I did. Right. Go to the top, see what we can see. Uh, military outpost. We haven't played around one of those yet. Another lab, a radio tower we can climb to the top of. Gas station, little town with so far nothing I care about. And Stowe had a school buried back in the corner that I couldn't see. Military outpost. <clears throat> they haven't messed with those. They still just have the low sight range, I believe. So, should be an easy one to go tech at, take a look at. Um, I've done one recently, a couple of them. But, we've got a lab, we've got a radio station. Let's um, we'll roll down to the lab and radio station first. Then we'll, maybe we'll check out the military outpost after that. Mm. 
What do you think? Another ice lab? Chemicals. Mm, I kind of do care about having a light sometimes. Excellent. All right. So we know what's up here. Sixty-three degrees. Nope, not a not a nice lab. Two leather jackets. Well, there's all the leather I needed. Alright, turret's firing away at somebody. Here, somebody broke the door down. They following me? Or they wandered into that other room. Hmm. A little worried about lines of sight now. <clears throat> <laughs> so many bedrooms. I don't think I've seen that many in a single section in quite a while. Hello, Mr. Turret. Let's see, there's no point in hacking that computer because everything that shows me is going to get over overstepped by the radio tower. Uh, should get rid of it just so I don't accidentally wander in. But, uh, One, two, three, four, five bedrooms in one of the uh, three by three grids. Somebody up there really wants in. Uh, let's do this first. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! Hey there, buddies. Insect and medical. Boomer, more training. thinking of heat labs you're thinking of uh, PK's PKR PK's rebalancing that one has heat labs <clears throat> the base game not in the entire time I've played it has it ever had a, a heat lab but PKR has heat labs I call them hell labs they're usually the uh, uh, what were they called again uh, I can't remember their names now Hey there, Mr. Zombie.
Oh yeah, lots of meat. I want to say my um, my vitamin deficiency occurred when I slammed down an entire owlbear in 24 hours. That's when I'm pretty sure my vitamin deficiency hit and things went wonky in the uh, in the code because I was trying to I was below the 80 percent number for the uh, calorie count. It was giving me the your, your stomach feels so empty message, which means you're below 80 percent of your starting 55,000. And so I was cramming in uh, owlbear meat every chance I got over a 24-hour period, and I ate an entire owlbear. Quick butchered owlbear, but it was a lot of meat. I ate it all, and I'm pretty sure that's when the math went wonky, <laughs> and uh, I ended up with the permanent vitamin A deficiency. Might as well just stop eating the multivitamins. <laughs> it's just not going to help me any. Um, speaking of meat, let's go ahead and cook up some bratwurst. Oh, soy sauce is fun. Forty Broderick's. Yum, yum, yum. Autodocs don't have anything to do with vitamins or your, your those kinds of stats. Only thing Autodocs can do is uh, install, uninstall CBMs and also uh, splint broken limbs. Alright, so we had some food. Weapons reloaded. Gears still set for lab exploration mode. Nothing needs repaired. Brought back some stuff. Yeah, I did a short one with the desert. I tested the desert as well as the horse stuff. And um, it, was, it was interesting at first, but because it's all of the graphics are the desert, it's not like it's a small area that you can go to where you've got forests and all the normal stuff, and then there's a desert. That goes for a ways. It's it's all or nothing. That's the only part that I don't like. It was fairly cool otherwise, but um, horses were fairly new then too, and they're I think they're still broke. Aren't horses still giving infinite endurance? You can just basically sprint on a horse forever still. Maybe they fixed that. I don't know for sure. <clears throat> just one of those things I don't deal with because it's too either broken or too powerful. Makes it too easy. Any idea why a vehicle would not charge its battery while running? It's got an alternator. Um, over what period of time did you test it? <laughs> and is the battery damaged? Is damaged battery and damaged alternator either or could cause uh, a loss of some of the power? Beyond that, just check to make sure you don't have anything else turned on. I mean, if you got the dome light on and the radio blasting and it's charging stuff on the recharger and all that kind of stuff. That's the only other thing I can think of. It is a somewhat slow process, though. Yeah, I don't trust the I don't trust the examine menu for the power information. <clears throat> For example, when you're, when you're, what was the example I was looking at that we had recently? Uh, what was I doing? Oh, it was uh, solar panels through a cable connecting to another network. The, the plus minus indicator for the battery charge wasn't taking into account the transferred power coming over. So, I, I don't know. <clears throat> Couldn't tell ya. Seems a little funky. Is it a standard vehicle or is it one you've modded in some way or, or hacked together with various components? Ah, 
pop up to this uh, tower real quick. Get the get the long view. Have you um, left it running for like an hour? Check the battery charge level, let it run for an hour, then check the charger level again. Ignore that plus minus gaining, losing power. I don't trust that calculation in any way, shape, or form. The only real test is to uh, just let it run. Just, just see what level your battery power is at. Make sure there's nothing else turned on. Pass an hour and check the battery level again. See if it's going up or not. Anything else is not really a valid test. Alright, up and up. We're gonna get our telescope and our map this time. I really want a map. Map would be great! Map! We got a map! Telescope and map. Yay, map! Perfect. Activate map. <coughs> Alright, brand new map. Brand new sight range. What do we see? Uh, hazardous waste sarcophagus. There's a replacement for our military ID card. And I can get to it because we've got a connection right there, so that's great. So if I want to go back and play with that mech, we we could. <laughs> South, another lab. Um, no ants this time. I haven't had a single lab with an attached ant hill so far this run. Otherwise, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> One extra lab and uh, the hazardous waste sarcophagus. Nothing else really got uh, got revealed. Yeah, we've seen one single... Uh, we didn't even see the ant hill. We just saw a few ants as we drove by. <laughs> Oops. Let's head back to the ground. No cabins in range. No magic cabins. Either attack. Thank you much. Are the waste of carcass lo worth looting? No, they are not. <laughs> not even remotely. The only reason to visit a waste sarcophagus is you roll up, you pop into the front office, and you grab your free military ID card from the desk. And then if you need to, you can pop in the side door and um, look for a gas mask. And there's also a chance of a military vehicle, a cargo truck, inside either the front bay or the back bay. That's it. Other than that, get out of there. Totally not worth it. You're going to get irradiated really, really quickly. And even if you can handle that, there's no reason to go down below into the lower areas. There's nothing down there that you're going to get. By the time you can survive it, like most endgame locations, you can get the loot easier elsewhere. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> what the hell? Try this again. Alright. Now we're back into our proper positioning for the lab. So, no goofy things nearby. Nice and clear area. Another lab, like I said, to the south. We got uh, we we got the map done. We got two more endpoints right there. After that lab, and then we've our map is now filled in, so we can see these other areas further out to the west, or when we want to go roaming again. Oh yeah! Oh, look at that place. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Another big tri city area. You just got to be able to deal with lots of radiation. There are ways to do it. Some of the clothing can help, but uh, mostly you're talking high-end uh, CBMs, radiation scrubbers, and uh, things like that. You got to have other ways of dealing with the high-end radiation, or the mutation chains where you're radiogenic and so on. 
But like I said, there's no reason to go in there. You're not going to find anything in there. You're going to have to kill a whole bunch of low-end critters. Very little high-end stuff to worry about, really. It's just a whole lot of radiation, a whole lot of mindless fighting of low-level guys, and very little to no reward. So, which unfortunately is a story in most of those types of mid-end game locations. There's just not enough mid-end game content still. All right, uh, I think I'm going to wrap things up right here. I'm getting a bit tired. We're about seven and a half hours in. I don't want to start into a lab and then forget the whole map and forget everything. So we'll we'll fire things up right here on Monday. Um, I got to come up with an end, an end strategy for this particular series. We're, we're, we're at the end of pretty much all of the useful skills. I mean, a couple levels of fab if I ever find those other books and make a better spear. So Jutsu's pretty pretty good actually. We've been doing really well with the So Jutsu. I've been surprised. Um, the pushback is a good thing for the stance, and uh, it's it's working pretty well. So yeah, I do plan on doing Minecraft. I I keep saying that. I keep wanting to do Minecraft, but uh, between my coughing I problem I've had for the last few weeks and real world stuff, I keep getting interrupted. But um, the coughing problem is pretty well solved, so finally I will uh, be able to get back into the Minecraft. So that's the plan. I got a couple of games I want to give a try. Minecraft um, is definitely not off the list. I do plan on continuing to play that, so RL Craft specifically. Super hard mode, die a lot, good times. Um, so yeah, I'll be on tomorrow with something. I just don't know what exactly yet or exactly what time I'll be starting, but um, we'll, we'll be online. So hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for the ongoing support.